Welcome back. The coronavirus taking its toll on the real estate market, certainly. We want to take a look at this area because homeowners and businesses are looking to press pause on their mortgages amid record unemployment and a worsening pandemic. Five of America's largest bank, all uh, banks, all offering to work with customers impacted uh, by the coronavirus. Joining us right now is Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate Owner, Rogers Healy. Rogers, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, uh, what pleasure. do we need to understand about pausing a mortgage. Explain that for our viewers, Rogers. Sure. So it's just helping people out. I think right now, obviously, people need as much help as they can get. And people that are in a mortgage, you know, it's a, it's a stressful time to be able to pay that back in full as quick as possible. So the term is called forbearance, and it's essentially going to give them the opportunity to go and delay their mortgage, pause their mortgage, and in some really special instances, even negotiate the price down just a little bit. With all that being said, if they're going to have to pause the mortgage payment, they're going to have to pay it back probably with interest at the end of their loan. But yeah, it's just working with the people in hopes of them not foreclosing like we saw happen about a decade ago. John. A uh, couple questions about how forbearance would work on mortgages. One is there are a lot of mortgage servicers out there that aren't banks, uh, companies that most Americans have never heard of, like Mr. Cooper's. How do we get them involved in this? And they can, can, can they stand the pressure that's about to hit them? Second, how do bondholders play into this? A lot of mortgages are in mortgage-backed securities. Can bondholders take forbearance in a situation like this? So I'll, I'll try to answer both questions at once. I think that mortgage-backed securities are going to be very insecure. And I think we're going to see a lot of these companies, like the first one that you mentioned, that is maybe not a major player in the game, I think they're going to find their way out of the mortgage industry. And I think we're going to see people on the mortgage servicing side, whether it's with an FHA loan or a jumbo loan, they're going to probably get really skittish moving forward. So we're going to see a major, major change. And the hope of these people, like the first company you mentioned in your first question, the hope is they can survive. But if you're relying on somebody to go pay their mortgage that's not getting paid from their employer, then it's going to really cause probably a, a pretty big mess here for the short term. Lee? So one of the questions, I, I know some people who are in negotiations now because the impact is so, so widespread. Some people are saying that they're, they're getting holds for three months, but on the fourth month, they'd have to pay all back at once. We were talking about it's a little bit different. Um, are you seeing, seeing different scenarios playing out? Yeah, the, yeah, I am. The good news is the big banks are all at least open to it, and they haven't really announced all of the information, like people that are doing interest-only loans, does it apply to them? People that have a five-year arm, does it apply to them? But yeah, I mean, like, how does it really help long-term if they're going to say, hey, listen, it's okay for four or five months, you don't have to pay us back, and then in five months pay us back everything? It's not like an employer is going to come and say, hey, listen, I know you've been in a tough spot. Here's a five-month advance to go ahead and pay your mortgage. So I, I think we're looking at a, a fairly rough road ahead in the next quarter at least. But yeah, it's, it's going to provide for an interesting opportunity because we've never seen this, at least in my lifetime, of being a, a real estate professional for a couple decades. So, yeah, it, it's going to be difficult, well, you know. And... Go ahead. I'm sorry. And, and by the way, probably many people would like to just refinance. I mean, look at these rates. Um, so, so, so there's the that opportunity. That. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think re refinancing is going to be a great opportunity. But the problem with that is you need a significant amount of cash to refinance. So I think you're going to see people take mm. out, you know, a, a short term loan with the bank, maybe just a line of credit to be able to afford to yeah, refinance. Where it probably could take, yeah, it might yep. take six or eight months to make it make sense. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting time all across the board. Rogers, thank you. Thanks very much for walking us Pleasure. through it. Rogers, Healy joining us there.